Hi guys, Jess from Wallingate Homestead here. We are a family of four that live on the mid-north coast of Australia. So today is my grocery haul day. We're about to head off to Costco in Newcastle. So it's a two hour plus trip each way. Um, and I do it every six weeks. Um, however, I usually go on a Monday and today's Friday and I am dreading it because it's going to be so busy. Um, I will try and take some footage in store, but... I don't think I'm going to be filming much in store. It's just going to be manic. So, yeah, my daughter wanted to come with me. So that's why I'm going on a Friday instead of a Monday. So she needed she needed to get some snacks and things for uni. Um, so, yeah. Anywho, I only, I only um, feed three people at the moment. So me, my husband and my son. My son can eat a lot so i have to make sure i have enough food for him for his um for the holidays that are coming up so he's got three weeks school holidays coming up um so i have to had to yeah i'll be buying just a few extra snacks for him even though i do bake a lot at home and that but it's just never enough for him anyway that's that's just teenage teenage boys i think <laughs> um yeah so i follow a uh six week meal plan that i make um i base it on my staple ingredients so i have a a pantry ink pantry list um and yeah try not to buy any extra ingredients other than what's on my pantry list so um so I don't go over budget because it's so easy to go over budget. You do need to know your pricing um, when you go to Costco. So I just cross cross check the um, Woolies or Coles app to make sure it's worthwhile buying. Um, most of the time it is. If it's not, I go to Aldi because I know they stock it so and it's cheaper. Um, but most of the time I get most of my stuff from Costco. Um, I don't buy beef lamb or pork because we do call our own and yeah so the only thing i buy is chicken we don't have meat birds and eggs because our egg layers weren't laying so we sold them and we're just organizing another chicken coop for them so yeah that's that the the my budget's not including beef lamb or pork um, however, I do occasionally buy beef um, when I am running low. So it's usually mince. I'm running low on mince. And it's the good cuts that I, we usually tend to eat quicker. Um, so every now and again, I'll buy a nice steak or something. But yeah, it's just very, very rare. It's not on every shopping trip. So this, this month, um, this six-week haul won't have any beef, lamb or pork other than chicken. I'll be buying a little bit more chicken because we're out. Um, yeah, so I'll um, get home after this, unload everything, show you what I've bought, and then hopefully show you the costings and what I plan to do with this grocery haul. See you soon.
So we're back home and I've unloaded the cold stuff. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to take much footage in store. It was just so busy. I don't know if it's because of the start of school holidays or what it was, but it was just busier than usual. So I'll go through all the cold stuff so I can put it away. So I've got a tub of two kilo yogurt. Um, I will need to go to Aldi and get some yogurt from there because my husband does prefer it, but we are out of yogurt and I won't get to Aldi until next week. Um, their sour cream is absolutely amazing. If you haven't tried it, you should. Um, three, three litre bottles of milk. We will need more, it's just fridge space. I don't have the fridge space. So that's something we, we buy weekly and it's included in the budget. So what we buy weekly. I was only able to buy 30 eggs. So they have a limit of one carton per membership, which is sad because I usually stock up on the eggs from Costco. Got the Grana Padano, some mozzarella for our pizza nights and toasties and that. I've got some leg ham, I've got two packets of leg ham, um, hot dogs, four packets of the bacon, two packets of their butter, the grass fed butter. But that's gone up too, it was $9.99 last time I went, it's like almost $10.50 now. Some salami for charcuterie boards and pizzas and that. My favourite cheese. So school holidays next week, so I needed to stock up on some easy food for my son because he does, does not stop eating. So we've got some pizza pockets. I bought myself some kimchi, um, crispy squid. I haven't tried this one yet, so, so I'm keen to try it. Cauliflower gnocchi. Um, Probably really easy to make but um, we're going away next weekend so I thought it's something I can cook in the caravan some schnitzels for my son back bag of frozen veg um, I buy these these prawns tail off um, I think they're just over $28 for a kilo they're really nice so I've got make prawn curry and um, Ravioli, prawn ravioli with them. Two packets of the chicken thighs. So the chicken thighs are 11.49 a kilo. Um, I think we, we use more chicken thighs than chicken breast. Um, I bought one chicken breast, which is 9.99 a kilo and a whole chicken. Just got some veg and fruit, some pears, snacking pears and snacking apples. And um, this will just do tie us by until I go to our fruit shop. Some zucchini and cucumber, some broccolini. And we're having this for dinner. It's the marinated beef bulgogi. It's, it's really nice. What we don't eat, I freeze, or my daughter will take with her to uni. So I'm just gonna put this away and yeah, get, get the other stuff ready. Okay, so this is the rest of the grocery haul. So we've got our toilet paper. Feminine hygiene, some foil and deodorant. Two boxes of full cream milk. They worked out to be $1.60 each. A lot cheaper than you buy at Woolies and Coles, that's for sure. Um, Tuna in spring water. 2.3-2.5 kilos of tomato um, pomodoro. I think they're diced tomato, so I'm making a big batch of bolognese to freeze, so be using that. Their coffee, the lavazza was um, $16, so it was um, on sale. I only bought one because I, I have I have quite a bit of coffee. Um, coconut milk. Long life coconut milk pecans. These worked out to be about 20, I think $20 a kilo. $20 for, no, 908 grams. Um, Gatorade for my son. He wanted the prime, but they didn't have any this time. Um, I buy him a couple of things every time I go, and that's one thing he requests, and they didn't have it, but anyway. So I've got the rotisserie chicken, so I'll shred that and then 
freeze freeze them in portions for sandwiches and um, make some stock out of the, the carcass. Sweet Baby Rains, $9, it's a bargain. Um, some sweet chili, chili flakes, two honey, Australian honey. I think they were $10 each. Um, some sriracha, soy sauce. Who knew soy sauce had to be refrigerated? I have never, ever refrigerated soy sauce, but there you go. Tomato sauce. Some more treats for my son. It's school holidays. He's got three weeks of driving me crazy at home. <laughs> um, two lots of tortilla, tortillas. I do make my own. Um, it's just handy to have in the freezer. Um, I do love the pork crackle. So I have, for a snack, I have some pork crackle with sour cream. Delicious. These limited dish, limited, sorry. Limited edition Pringles. I don't know how good they are, but they were only $10. So I thought I'd give them a go. I think I said the tomato sauce. Organic. Organic tortilla, tortilla rounds. $10 for this bag. They were on sale as well. And some more snacks. Cheetos. The ruffles were $8 if I'm not mistaken, and the popcorn comes in a resealable bag. So that sold me because you buy these small bags and they there's not much in there. So some onions. The tomatoes were $10 for this pun. I think there's a, there's a kilo there. The carrots, um, well, I can't remember. The carrots how much they were tomatoes were um I think they worked out to be six dollars a kilo for this tray so there's two kilos in this tray tomatoes a big bag of flour baker's flour that was a mission to put it on the trolley that one so i bought some more sun-dried tomatoes these are actually really delicious um if you don't use them i i tend to just put them, chop them up, put them, put them in my ice cube tray and freeze them and then I'll have them in portions when I need sun-dried tomatoes. Maple syrup, because I'm out. Pickled gherkins. These um, gherkins, they work out cheaper than the ones that were on special. So that's why I got these ones because they had um, two, two bottles of gherkins. Oh, I can't remember the price, but this was like $13.00. Oh uh, yeah, on the top of my head, I can't I can't remember the price of the other one. Um, yeah, but just worked out cheaper getting this one. Um, I do get my son some muffins every time I go to Costco. So every six weeks, I freeze them and then he'll have one. Like I do a lot of baking at home, but when I have when I don't have anything or just it's been a busy day and I haven't baked, that's what he has. And same for the bread. Like I I bake my own, but it's just good to have in the freezer just in case. Um, extra virgin olive oil, I think it was $54 for four litres, so it's about 13, just over $13 a litre. I do tend to, I, I wanted to get avocado oil for, for my mayonnaise because I, I really enjoy the avocado oil with the mayonnaise, it's not as strong, but it, it worked, it was almost $90 for a litre of av for avocado oil and I go, no, nah, just have to use a different oil and that's why I got that everything's going up um, some croissants I wanted to, so I make um, ham and cheese croissants for my son and freeze them um, for school for breakfast um, but I want to try that craze there is now like the cookie cookie croissants I don't know it's like cookie Croc uh, yeah I don't know how to pronounce it um, I think it's just a cookie dough baked in a croissant so I just want to give that a go and some pan au chocolat I'll just freeze them and then you just pop them in the air fryer. And some more peanut butter because we're almost out. We do eat a lot of peanut butter. And that is our grocery haul. I'll tally up the total. So this and all the cold stuff doesn't look like much. 
Hi guys, so this is the next day. So I unloaded everything yesterday, put everything away. It was a big day. Um, I don't think I'll ever go back to Costco on a Friday. It was just mayhem. It was, there was no explaining how busy it was. I know school holidays are coming up, but my goodness. Um, oh yeah, I do usually go on a Monday. So start of the week, I think is better. I woke up really unwell again, so I overdid it yesterday, but it's winter here. There's a lot of illness going around. What do you do? Um, yeah, so we've got everything we needed. What I well, I didn't get like I'll get from Aldi during the week. Um, it's pretty much just some toothpaste um, and some other bits and pieces that I couldn't find there, but that's okay. Um, it's all budgeted for, so... Um, so I'll go over, I'll go over the spending. So we spent $1,153.25, um, which breaks down to $9.15 per person per day. So that is for three meals a day. Um, I make breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, well, I'll put, I, I um, budget for breakfast lunch and dinner however I don't always make breakfast um the boys sort of like they're old enough they <laughs> you'd think they're old enough my husband and my son um they fend for themselves um I'm not a breakfast person so I only tend to have a coffee um and then then brunch so it's like breakfast and lunch um yeah so that's what it came down to everything is skyrocketing like it's just but if you need it, you need, like, I don't know, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what the future holds. It's uh, everything's, it's, it's just getting too expensive. Um, but that's why I like following my budget. Um, I make sure I have enough food on my pantry, on my shelves. Um, so pressure canned meals and that. So I'm able to feed my family. I am working on my long-term food storage as well. So if there's any extra money that I am saving, I'm putting that, putting it towards towards that. Um, this month, I don't think it's going to happen. So um, I have just under two hundred dollars more to spend on the groceries, and that will just be our milk and any extra bits and pieces that we need. Um, yeah. So this doesn't cover, like I previously said our meat so beef um pork and lamb um because we do color our own but um when i do need to buy it i have to budget for it so i have to add it to our budget so i'll not buy something to have a bit of meat but yeah so that's why i'm just stocking up so i'm able to do that um i do really um like doing what I'm doing so I've been doing this since January and it's working for me like since my mental health diagnosis like it's it's making me stressless I hate getting up and it's like oh what am I going to cook today and just looking at my book and knowing what I'm going to cook and knowing that I have all the ingredients at home um oh it's just been it's been it's been great like it's really really helping me um recover just not stressing um and having like batch cooking big batch cooking so if i am unwell um like i am now like the boys can take something out of the freezer and fix themselves a meal like um they have still have healthy nutritious food there that all they have to do is heat up so i'm just thinking about my well-being really <laughs> but they've been good um yeah, just the system has helped me heaps. So I go down every six weeks. Um, I was doing it monthly, but I found I can stretch it out to six weeks. Um, we have enough food at home that um, I was able to do it. And yeah, that's what we're doing. So um, it's been it's been great. So yeah, $9.15 per, per person per day for three meals, which... Um, I'm hoping it doesn't go up again, but you just never know. Everything keeps going up. Um, yeah, so my budget is $225 a week. But that's not including meat. So meat we have at home. We have plenty of meat at home. Um, I just buy the chicken and everything like that. So 
or any seafood we don't really buy a lot of seafood it's just it works out too expensive so just following this budget is is working meal planning is not for everyone um but yeah it's working for me yeah so i hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time thanks for watching